Hi, everyone. Welcome to Spill the Tea Radio, where we interview awesome singers, songwriters, and those who influence their lives. Spill the Tea Radio explores the journey, creativity, and inspiration behind the songs. My next guest grew up in the village of Croydon, located near Napanee, Ontario. He first began playing and singing country music at a very young age. He comes from a musical family and was able to learn to play guitar by ear, followed by his move to songwriting. As he grew onto the local music scene, he began playing at various festivals and pubs, eventually gaining a chance to open for some of Canada's biggest country music stars. He has shared the stage with Dallas Smith, Dean Brody, George Canyon, Jason Blaine, Emerson Drive, Or Blunt, and Gord Bamford. So, let's spill the tea with Jeremy Clement. Welcome, Jeremy. Hi, David. Jeremy, you started writing songs at a very young age. What age were you when you first uh, penned your first uh, composition? Uh, I think I started writing when I was around 14 or 15. Um, and then I kind of set them aside for a little while and and uh, really kind of picked back up closer to age kind of 17, 18. Jeremy, most singer-songwriters, and you probably were the, the same, start off their careers by doing a lot of covers. And and a lot of singer-songwriters, not songwriters, but a lot of singers and, and performers they stay with that model of of uh, doing the covers. They have a successful career. They end up doing session stuff, and they're very very happy. What drove you to start writing your own music? Um, I played a lot of covers uh, in the pubs, in the bars, stuff like that. And I thought, as the crowd and the fan base grew a little bit, I thought if I could start to write my own stuff and relate with people a little bit. Um, you know, widen my variety and and give them something they haven't heard before. So you come from a musical family. Uh, who who plays? Uh, I just had one artist say, "Well, my sister plays the piano, my brother plays the guitar, and my father plays the radio." So, <laughs> <laughs> so who plays what in your family? Well, my dad always played and sang guitar. Uh, sorry, he played guitar and sang. <laughs> um, my cousin. Uh, uh, plays guitar and sings as well. Uh, he used to actually he coached me a lot of the way through when I was playing as at a, at a young age. Uh, my grandfather played the fiddle. Cousins played the fiddle. So very musical, both sides of the family. Jeremy, so many different genres of music out there. Why did you gravitate towards country? Um, well, I grew up listening to it. I uh, grew up on farming and uh, grew up on a farm, I should say. Um, always out in the country doing different things. Uh, I was always on the radio, uh, whether it be at home or in the vehicle. So always, uh, definitely grew up with it for sure. So within the genre of country music, there are sub genres of music. There's alternative country, there's classic, uh, country music. Uh, I've heard so many different phrases now. Where do you fall into uh, your country music? Well, I think I have a huge liking for the 90s country, uh, early 2000s. My dad was always the older stuff, the Merle Haggard and the George Jones, stuff like that. And I still love that, too. Um, the modern stuff, it, it's definitely taken a different path, which is, you know, not a terrible thing either. Um, there's a lot of cool different songs out there and different things you can do with country music. So um, I kind of fall somewhere right in the middle, to be honest. What's your favorite part about being a musician? Favorite part is um, everywhere I go, you know, when you're at gatherings or whatever, uh, people are always asking, uh, did you bring the guitar with you? Or, you know, I heard your song or, you know, I love this song because of this or whatever. And I think now that I've got my own music out, it's really cool to see what it does. Um, how many people are listening to it, what, it, you know, the kind of message they're getting from it and if they can relate to it. Um, and I like just, you know, I've always liked to host parties and stuff like that. So I like to be, I always like to be the one up on the stage and you know, just letting people have a good time. 
So I think that's my favorite part about it for sure. And do you have a least favorite part of it? Mm, I think uh, when you get into kind of the le legality side of things, just the, uh, you know, the paperwork and the technology part of stuff like that, it's, uh, I'm not a huge tech guy, so that's uh, that's where other people come in. So that that part gets a little confusing sometimes, but uh, other than that, it's I love it. Uh, if the magical music genie came down from the sky and said, "I'm going to grant you a wish, Jeremy. You can play and share the stage with any living artist. Who would it be?" Well, that's a good one. Um, I would say. Right now, I think Luke Combs would be a good one for me because he's huge, like huge artist, right? Very popular guy. But I think he's a really down to earth person too. Mm -hmm. Just watching, you know, I've seen different interviews with him and things like that. I think he's kind of my type of person, like, you know, um, just an easy going country guy. And, and, uh, and I mean, it'd be really cool to get up on a stage with him and, play in front of that many people so i think that would be it what uh what song would you like to play with him um i do a cover of his she got the best of me and uh that one's a pretty pretty comfortable one to do i like that one a lot for sure well, what about one of your songs if you said hey let's do one of my songs which one would it be um i'd probably do I have a couple songs. Uh, I got one called Getting Old, and it just kind of talks about growing up, you know, kind of a high school scene and, and as you get older and then, you know, um, you start to get a job and, and stuff like that and uh, how life changes for sure. And I know he just released one the very same. I think his his kind of talks about the same sort of thing, but a little different style. So it'd be kind of neat to, to do those and, and compare the two. How does the collaboration work in the studio? You're you're the singer songwriter. You go you're the boss, and you go into the studio, and you've got other musicians that are playing with you, and you've got your engineer who's uh, and producer that uh, they have their ideas. How do you all collaborate to finally get the product out of the studio and in into mastering? Well, usually I'll bring a song to the table and I'll. I'll play it through, see what the guys think. And uh, Terry, the producer, he's great with that kind of stuff too. And um, so I'll play it through a couple times and, and they'll take a listen to it. And then um, Trevor Johns, he does the drumming. He'll he'll come up with a beat of his own or he'll, if I've already got something in mind, we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, he usually kind of makes up his own, you know, because he's excellent with that kind of stuff. And then Terry... He'll listen through, he'll say, hey, what about if we change this lyric up a little bit? Or what if we move this chorus back a little bit? And I, you know, I never even thought of that kind of thing, you know? So we work together that that way. And then when it comes studio time, I'll play it through on the acoustic. Um, we'll start laying guitar tracks. Um, we just kind of sit around, talk it out, play it through. Um, Terry will I'll come up with some guitar stuff. I'll come up with some guitar stuff. Trevor with the drums. Get get a bass going, and uh, like we kind of we call it the foundation of the song, and then we start to build it up from there. And then by that time, let's get into one of the songs that Jeremy wrote. Jeremy has written and recorded his own music, releasing his debut single, "Truck Box Stage," in July of 2017, which has garnered a half a million streams on Spotify, Apple Music, and iTunes. Since then, he's released multiple singles and his debut EP titled Back Road in 2021. So let's take a listen to singer-songwriter Jeremy Clement and his song, Truck Box Stage. A thousand people screaming my way When I'm out there on that stage It's pretty crazy and I don't think I'm fine but When the lights go down and I'm all alone I think back to years ago my favorite place to play I had a tailgate line show truck box stage Oh, we 
Stage by Jeremy Clement. Uh, Jeremy, it's a great song. It's got a great beat to it. What was the inspiration to write that song? Well, um, I think growing up just in high school there, I'd always take my guitar with me. Um, I was at a party one night, actually, and um, we everybody was asking if I had it. Did you bring your guitar? Did you bring your guitar? And I said, yes, I did. So there's actually a hay wagon uh sitting in a field there where we were and um i got up on the hay wagon and started playing and everybody sat down in their lawn chairs and it was just like a little (laughs) miniature concert and it was awesome it was great and uh i thought this kind of you know it's i was thinking about it one time and, and i actually wrote the song not long after that and then i didn't i didn't touch it for the longest time and then when I was 17 or 18, uh, a couple years later, I, I was kind of scrolling through my laptop and um, and I found what I had written on the laptop at the time. I thought I should I should dive into this again. Like I should. So then I started, I picked up the guitar and trying to figure out some chords that made sense, changed some lyrics and, and so on and so forth. And it took me about an hour and uh, and I had the song done. And then uh, I brought it to Terry, played it for him. I said, what do you think? And and it's the first song we recorded too. And, uh, and he thought it was great, you know, and we put it in same thing, you know, built it from the ground up and it turned out awesome. So um, yeah, we went with it. How do people find out more about you, the gigs you're at, uh, your music, what's coming up? What are the, what's the website? What are the socials that they can go and hang out with you? So I'm on uh, I'm on Instagram, uh, Jeremy Clement official. Uh, you can search that. Um, I have a Facebook page as well, uh, same title. Um, and as far as that goes, we're working on a website at the moment. We're gonna probably get something up within the next little while, but. 
We have been in conversation with Jeremy Clement. Jeremy, thanks for being with us. Thank you, David.